Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and I'm making my first batch of tomato sauce to put in the freezer. I have some cherry tomatoes and brandy wines. We've got a white onion, two green peppers, some basil, garlic, I put a little oregano and pepper. And the tomatoes, peppers, and basil are from the garden and it feels so nice to put these all together Then nothing's getting wasted and in the winter when stuff isn't as fresh, I've got something from the garden. So this winter, my in-laws gave me a really nice immersion blender because last year I was using the blender. So it'll be nice to just blend it up in the pot before I freeze it. I'm back in my classroom today. I've got the towels that I picked up and sheets to bring in, cigar boxes, and a lot of the um, storage boxes as well. So I'm not gonna be here very long, just dropping those things off and happy to get them out of the house. These things were already here. They look like they snapped together and they're long. So actually, I think it's a different color, but the exact same thing that I picked up. So that's nice. And then that was another piece that I got at the sale. Uh, this was just a little slab box that was here, so I'll keep that to store some stuff. Um, so I haven't figured out how I'm going to organize everything. I'm just working on getting the containers and just trying to dust and clean things off and out. And that seems to work pretty well. And the nice thing is it's flexible, so I can divide and organize things and things won't shift. I could put the brown one here, but when you have three, then it automatically makes its own little spot for things. We have cucumbers and tomatoes for dinner, then some zucchini from our neighbor, and I did salt, pepper, garlic powder, a little bit of oregano and Parmesan cheese, and a little bit of wine on the bottom. And then at the very end, I did put it under the broiler, but it didn't get too dark. I just basically wanted to cook down the flavor of the wine and meatballs. I'm back again today. It's kind of been my thing to stop by for about an hour every morning to drop things off and just get a little bit done. Yesterday, my son and I were packing up the stuff that didn't sell from the rummage sale. And we were there for a very long time. And I picked up some things from the houseware section and also the craft art section. And I brought those in to get them out of my car. And we're gonna go back down again today and I can think about some things that I think would be good to bring here. Specifically, I'm thinking about this one unit that I only taught once, but I loved it, where the students researched something that interested them and figured out what it would look like under a microscope magnified. So it would become abstract art. And I got Petri dishes from the science department and they created the look of that item um, and they just used anything from my little drawers of little tchotchkes. So pom-poms and glitter and pipe cleaners and um, rhinestones and beads. And they were amazing looking. I think I have a picture, so I will definitely insert it. So I need to have things that I think are a little bit more crafty than I would use for like fine art to have on here. So they um, can find like the right size or color of something they need to recreate those Microscop, microscopic pieces. I also found two um, like silverware organizers, so that'll be good to put in the drawers because you can see I have so many drawers. And there was an acrylic piece here, so that could be nice to hold pens or pencils or clay tools specifically. And then my mom gave me some markers, so I've got lots of stuff to put out. And then I also have this box, and I think I'm going to put um, magazines in there because for right now, I just had them stacked there. And that'll be nice because then the box can go on that bookcase. And the other day, I painted one coat. You saw that. So when I came in yesterday, the painters were here. They were literally right outside my door. So I called the build, building supervisor and asked if somebody um, could come and put a second coat on because I ran out of paint and they had white paint on their rollers. So they did that yesterday and it looks so nice because now it's even and it's a lot brighter. The first thing I do when I come in is I try and get everything in the area where I'm going to store it. I haven't gotten to organizing yet, but these are assemblage pieces and then I have markers. Um, 
bags. You need a ton of those when you do clay. So I'll just get all that stuff over there and then all of a sudden it should be nice and empty. I'm gonna see if one of the utensil uh, holders will fit in this drawer and then I can put the inks and glitter in it instead of how I have it right now. And as I've accrued more markers, I need a bigger box to put them in. This was here and I've got all of those right there. And I just hung that painting there to get it on the wall. Um, and then who knows what I can put into this box right here. But these markers, you know, that aren't like matching, it's not like a same brand. Some are like overhead markers. We don't have overheads anymore. They're nice when the kids are working in their sketchbooks and they just want to add a little bit of color to something. Um, that's why I have them on hand. I had a very productive half an hour, but I have to head out because I have to go home. Um, probably not going to use this and store it with hammers in it, but it fits perfectly in this drawer. So that's good. I just wanted to test it out. This organizer was too big to fit in the drawers. So I just switched it with the one that I had here. And it's nice because it still fits on this little cart or shelf. All of the glitters, nail polish, and ink are organized and there's space in the back. And the soap I wound up putting under the sink. We only use that if we're oil painting and this isn't really a room we'd oil paint in, but I'm just keeping it there because those were all like free or included in a $5 fill a bag at an estate sale. And when you need them, you need them. So there I've got a supply. It is 5.43 and it has been a long few days. We wrapped up the church rummage sale. That was an extremely long day. And then Monday I went to school and then helped pack up. And today, Tuesday, I went to school and helped pack up with the kids and my mom. And they were, we were all working for what about six hours, I think. So we're back home. The kids requested pizza. So pizza's out of the oven. I picked the garden. I'm happy that we have cucumbers, different types of tomatoes, and uh, the church rummage sale, I don't know if I had mentioned how, we, how much we made, but last year we made about $52,000. So of course the goal is to beat that. And I didn't think it was possible, but I think we made probably $62,000. And that money does not go to our church. It in general goes to people right in our community, individuals and organizations. But also um, when the war started, uh, our president had this really smart idea to do a matching campaign and she said that we would match up to $10,000. So the people at our church donated 18,000. So we were able to send 28,000 to um, an organization that helped with that. Um, so now we have even more money to give away and help people with, which is awesome, but it's long days packing up what didn't sell. But because we're donating all of it, and some is going to this really interesting warehouse where they house all types of housewares for refugees. Um, another place is like a second chance place. So that also, I think, employs people and gives them a second chance. And then some just to Goodwill or um, animal shelter, people who need stuff for their classroom, like me. So I picked up some more things for my classroom, which um, just organizational stuff. I'll show you when I get to school. And then, um, Again, other stuff because it's so much packing. It's like, if you want it, take it because it's less to pack. So I picked up this frame, which will need a little help, but I liked the shape of it and I'm a sucker for gold frames. And this looks, um, let's see, older, handmade in Tyrol, Austria. Never even heard of that, so that's interesting. And then there was a marmalade jar. So very happy to have those two things. And now I've got chicken salad to eat. I'm very excited and the kids are having pizza. Another piece that I picked up is this bowl. And it's really interesting because my uh, former vice principal came and shopped at the sale. She came last year with someone who also goes to my church. So we chatted for a while and I was so happy that she came back. So when she was checking out, I went to see what she picked up and she had a platter. I think her sister had a platter and they had this design on it. And I just thought it was beautiful. When I went back, I saw that there was the bowl, but there is a chip. So that's why they left it. So it was there for the wholesale and we're just going to get rid of it. And I thought, well, nobody's going to buy it if it has a chip. So I took it and I put it here in my corner cabin cabinet. And I think it adds a nice little backdrop. And I, I just propped it up. I said, well, I like that. 
because I have a, I kind of reduced this all to a lot of just silver and glass. So just a nice little change right there. It reminds me a lot of um, this little, I think it's a Limoges dish, but somebody hand painted mistletoe on it. Uh, and I was curious as to what this was, the motif, and on the back it says orange blossom. And I said, oh, no, no wonder, I love anything orange blossom. And that's Theodore Havland, New York, made in America. Orange and blossom. it hasn't rained in a while, so this is wonderful. And then this coming down, I just love how, ooh, cooling things off and watering stuff. Since I have been home, I have been going nonstop, trying to get a lot of stuff done. So I made dinner, cleaned the pots and pans. I made another batch of spaghetti sauce and that's in the freezer. I've got my notepad out and I'm in the pantry. And that just says, I'm going back to work soon because <laughs> I'm trying to condense things to make space. And then I see what I need to stock up on and I'm gonna make my list. And one of my favorite things in the world is condensing. So I was able to do a vanilla extract in Old Bay and I don't know, there was like one other thing. Hi, can I condense you? <laughs> what does condense mean? <laughs> condense means to put everything together to make space. Uh, so yeah, I, I just love it when that one thing is empty and I can rinse it and recycle it. And then I've got more space. It just feels so good. I've just continued to work in the kitchen. So I took stock of the pantry then I pulled out the stainless steel cleaner and I did the dishwasher and the fridge. And in a day, it'll be dirty again with little fingerprints, but I don't do that a lot. So right now I am enjoying how fingerprintless it is. I'm also doing a little bit of purging of some decorative pieces just to make space. And as things change, as far as school and the kids getting older, so I have this copper pot right here and I just had some decorative like kitchen items in there. And I decided that this might be a good spot to put those awful water bottles I was talking about. So I'm washing all of them right now. And I think they'll go in here because the kids can reach them easily. Maybe I'll move it down low so it's not like something I have to see. I guess they could even lay down in there and that wouldn't be too bad. And just stack them. Right now I've got um, essential oils that I put into like waters in here. This I like to pull out for fall so it's a little too soon. I know some of you are like I've already got my pumpkins out. And uh, a salt and pepper shaker that's kind of decorative but I like it. And then straws here. This will probably look just like that for the next I'd say six weeks or so. What is it? Mid? Yeah mid-August to probably end of September, I would bet. We'll just keep getting tomatoes. I had a piece of art hanging here, but it's at the art gallery right now. So I moved um, the wreath that I actually had in that copper pot and it brought a little bit of color there. I think that'll be it for this video. And in the next video, I plan on organizing and displaying the things that I have been thrifting recently. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in that video. Bye.